In each of the ADL courses, at the end of the term, our learners are required to uh, complete a contribution to their own learning and their learning community assessment. And this is an opportunity to um, assess their contributions and their collaboration. And this is a replacement for the traditional discussion grades. So rather than have students post one post, respond to two, um, we allow not allow, we encourage students to come together, form learning communities, uh, communities of practice, form collaboration teams, and help each other out and collaborate. And in doing so, they move from um, assessment for learning to the notion of assessment as learning. They become self-assessors, and they have the opportunity to continually explore how they can improve and how they can get better. So in this particular model, we've got a couple of videos that we point uh, uh, the learner too, and we explain how they can then evaluate their contributions to their own learning. Uh, one of the most important factors that we point to is that there has to be an ongoing reflection of what is working and what can you do better. Um, this notion of what you can do better means that there is an opportunity for continual improvement. There's always room for improvement. What does that mean? Can can the student ever justify giving themselves a perfect score of 100 or 50 out of 50 or 100 out of 100? Um, ideally, no, because there's always going to be room for improvement. They can get pretty close, and that's fair, but if they are honest with themselves and if they have adopted a growth mindset, which is something we ask students to, or learners to take a look at and to uh, adopt um, in the early stages of the program. And we do so to help them move towards a learner's mindset. So a learner's mindset is this notion where we get the learner to, to change their thinking about learning, to change their approach to learning, and take into account the factors of the learning environment. And this is the learner's mindset. It's that willingness, that capacity, that desire to explore, to experiment, to continually improve. That's the learner's mindset. So the growth mindset is something that we ask uh, our learners to take a look at in in a couple of courses in the program, and they build a, a growth mindset plan. And the key ideas with the growth mindset are, Skills are built. You learn, you grow. The process of getting better is the key. It's the continual improvement. Um, effort leads to growth. Uh, embracing opportunities for growth. Um, challenges are growth. Mistakes are an opportunity for growth. These are key factors within the growth mindset. So this thinking on the growth mindset is informed by Carol Dweck's research and her book, Mindset. Um, and so in a couple of different courses, um, our learners are asked to explore the growth mindset and review how you can actually help students to move into this type of thinking. So when we take a look at our um, assessment uh, criteria here, this notion of ongoing uh, reflection of what you can do better, what's working, what you can do better is a key representation of that growth mindset. All the contributions, all the collaborations, the continual revisions, the uh, adaptations, you know, the continual focus on improvement, working together, collaboration. This is all about that collaborative growth mindset environment. So by, ass by assigning a perfect score of 100, um, a learner is then moving into fixed mindset thinking, which is going to limit their growth and development. And Carol Dweck's research has shown this. Students who um, are striving towards that perfect score or give themselves a perfect score, they actually stop working. Um, and we don't want you to ever stop working in this program. And actually, not just this program, but this notion of the continual reflection of what's working, what you can do better, is an aspect of moving into the higher order thinking, where you look look at evaluation, you look at analysis, synthesis, and then creation. So that continual higher order thinking process is all about um, continual improvement. So assigning yourself a perfect score is actually limiting yourself and moving yourself into that fixed mindset thinking. And we discourage students from doing that. So this is an important factor to remember within this uh, component of the ADL program. It is also important to remember that our focus on assessment as learning is not necessarily based on just a preference that we have. It is based on significant research. And um, if you refer to this post, I um, on my ePortfolio, I share similar information and I point to all the research that su supports the, these ideas. This whole notion of moving away from assessment of learning, which is formative, um, or summative rather, uh, to 
some assessment for learning, which is formative, to assessment as learning, which is not just formative, it is done by the learner and their peers, and it allows for deeper learning and learning how to learn, which is, is extremely important. So these resources are available. I'm going to uh, include them in uh, the notes for this video. Uh, perhaps one of the most important things I want you to consider when you're looking at this notion of moving in this realm is that this is one part of the whole assessment piece. There is often a tendency to think about uh, recommendations that are made that when uh, an individual stresses something like assessment as learning, and then we disregard the other two components. That isn't necessarily the case. There is a role for all these factors. Also, when you're taking these ideas and transferring them to a traditional K-12 environment or a standard undergraduate student environment, um, assessment of learning is the norm. It's going to be everywhere uh, in, in all educational systems. So we do have that component. Similarly, the assessment for learning, well, the reason we often include um, discussions in online learning and other places is to provide for that assessment for learning component. But we don't often emphasize assessment as learning, and this is one of the differences that we've made with the ADL program, where we want the learner to become a self-assessor. And when you become a self-assessor, it's all about that continual growth and improvement. So assigning yourself a perfect grade as a self-assessor actually you're telling yourself you've arrived, you have no room for improvement, and you don't need to do any more work. We don't want you to limit yourself by giving yourself that perfect grade, but we also want you to be fair. You want to actually be fair in that assessment because that is your way of moving into this realm of self-regulation and self-analysis and self-evaluation, which is a key factor of higher order thinking. So, Please consider your grade and consider your growth and consider your future development.